Solo is performed by Paul Daneman, and you know how it said that Ian McKellen's Gandalf is an impression of Tolkien giving a lecture? And Ian based his performance of Gandalf on Tolkien. I mean, he was impersonating Tolkien. Well, I'm pretty sure Paul Daneman's Bilbo is an impression of Tolkien just in his normal speaking style. The actual beginning, though it's not really the beginning, but the actual um, flashpoint was I remember very clearly. I mean, I took, um, I can still see the corner in, the, in my house in 20 North Moor Road where it happened. I got a enormous pile of exam papers there and uh, marking school examinations in the summertime is, a, is an enormous, um, very laborious and unfortunately also boring. <laughs> I should think in these parts. We are plain, quiet folk and we have no use for adventures. <laughs> Nasty, disturbing, uncomfortable things make you late for dinner. You, uh, you won't drive over the hill or across the water. Good morning. Overwhelmed and befuddled are the words to describe it, and I love every stammer, every aside, every desperate attempt to regain composure. This is Bilbo to me. Heron Carvick plays Gandalf, and yes, this is vague, mysterious children's story wizard Gandalf. Oh, uh, also, Torin, I forgot to mention that with the map, your father gave me this key. A key? Yeah. Oh, no. Take it. Is it the key to the secret door? Perhaps. Keep it safe. Indeed, I will. But unlike in the cartoon, where Gandalf feels to me like a plot device who revolves around Bilbo's self-actualization, here I feel like Gandalf's mysterious actions and choices are motivated. He just chooses to keep his motivations to himself. There's a depth, a texture to the performance that gives me the sense that Gandalf's leaving not just to create more obstacles, but because he has a life outside of the Hobbit and the dwarves. But of course. And why should they not prove true? Well, I mean, you just, don't just really a... suppose, do you, that all your adventures and escapes were managed by mere luck, just well, for your sole benefit? No, 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 but I mean... <laughs> You're a very fine person, Mr. Baggins, and I am very fond of you. <laughs> but you are only a little fellow in a wide world, after all. <laughs> Toreen is played by John Justin, and he is great. You really feel the arrogance he has due to his nobility, bubbling into his frustrations as he faces indignity after indignity. Stand away! I am Toreen! <laughs> and yet the warmth shines through when he gradually starts to respect Bilbo. Oh, well, well, Mr. Baggins, what do you think is our next move? Oh, well, well I suggest that we go... Go into Eskaroth. Huh? What, at this time of night? Certainly. Perhaps uh, the lake main will give us food and shelter. Oh, yes, yes. yes. No, I agree. Uh, uh, let us make yeah. ourselves known. I am grandson of the last king under the mountain. Eskaroth yes, and all are. these lands are part of my domain. Making it all the more heartbreaking when that respect is lost during the Arkenstone incident. It was me, Torin. Hmm? Uh, no, what? Me. I, I, I gave it to him. You? You gave it, you miserable yes. hobbit. You, oh, don't, don't, don't strike me, Torin. You undersized. Ooh. Burglar! Ooh. By the beard of Durin, I wish I had Gandalf here. I only tried... Curse him for his choice of you. Yeah. May his beard wither. Oh, 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 Dorin, you're hurting me. Hurting only... you? Yes. I, I will kill you, you wretched oh, creature. No, no. no.